What do you mean you won't give me some of the money? What do you expect me to do? First of all, whatever I like you do, whatever you like you do, if you expect me to divide that money, the loan I got from the bank, divide it in half and give to you, you must be joking. Look, Philip, you have forgotten that I brought you from the village, helped you to establish in this city. I even got you a girl from a rich home, but you walked out on the marriage. Now that you have the money, why are you treating me like this? You know what? You know what? To hell with you and your hopeless favors for me. Enough of this argument. No! No! It's high time I told this fool some home truth. You're calling me a fool? Yes. Because I'm money. Yes. You made no. yourself to be one. You dragged me into a marriage. I followed you. That almost wrecked my life. Me before I listened to you. I listened to you then, but now I will not listen to you. To have married that stupid girl called Angela. Arrogant and, 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 and hopeless. All those things you're saying are irrelevant. Yeah. What we're saying now is that he has a on some money from the bank. Let him give me some. Over your dead body. Offer your dead body for me to, to give you that money. Philip, if you try me, I'll kill you. Nonsense. I'll kill you if you try me. Philip. Philip. Festus, this is not the best approach to this. What is the best approach? This My brother has money and he won't help me. Say what are me. you talking about? You cannot eat your cake and have it. Sit down. Sit down for God's sake. What kind of nonsense is this? If you had utilized all your all the opportunities you have to your wife, you wouldn't have been going, going about begging for money like this. What are you talking about? And what are you trying to prove now? Please sit down. Sit down. Now you, you, you are lighting all the neighbors as, as if I'm the only person who receives visitors in this house. Sit down now. Hey, joke now.
Combien Beaucoup de temps là. Combien Dans les longues bandes d'histoire. Fais son What is love if there's no money to protect it? Money is compatibility. No, brother, you are still. Well, not let's agree. not argue on that. What about the wedding pictures? The album is it? Is it out? Of course, the wedding pictures are out. My father-in-law gave us five big albums, sponsored. When anyway, when you come to the house, you see them. I don't like keeping my wife waiting. Ha! The newest man in town. No. The letters. Yeah, the letters. <laughs> <laughs> Even your stomach is beginning to boil down. I don't expect your brother Festus to still be living in that ghetto of a house up till this very time. My brother, for it beats my imagination. The way my brother Festus boast about the family's wealth. Eh? I thought by now, after the wedding, they must have uh, given him millions of naira and fleets of cars to be driving up and down. I still can't understand. Uh, well, he married the girl basically because of the girl's uh, family's wealth. But the wealth, I have not seen. Well, let us watch and see. Since the father-in-law has asked him to change business. Upe, eh? you believe him? You know, my brother Festus lies a lot. So you think on this one that he has said now you're believing him? Do you know that since after that wedding, I have not seen a single present from the wise father to him. Uh -uh. You know what you are saying is true. Because the money I borrowed him days before that wedding, up to this very moment, he has not returned shishi to me. <laughs> she, she, she. Wrong investment. <laughs> My brother, the way he brags about that his wife's family, eh? Oh, my brother, up to now, number. Let me pop up. I am so sorry. Welcome. I'm sorry I couldn't come back earlier. I'm sure you must be hungry by now. I'm not that hungry. I was only concerned about your coming home. Yeah, <laughs> that's that full of you. Um, I'll go get us something to eat. Wait, how's daddy? I wish I had come with you to see him. He's all right, he's fine. He sends his greetings. He has invited us over for the weekend. The weekend? The whole weekend. I wish I was going to spend the entire week with him. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. he says when you're coming, you should get your business proposal. He has a surprise for you. Surprise? Surprise. What surprise? I don't know. Ask your father when you see him. I'll get us something to eat. <laughs> this is a very big one. Jehovah, he bought you an asthma de gato. Let something work. Oh. 
a brother Life is not a bed of roses Try to sustain A ghost even treasure So that when is mommy returning from her trip abroad? Hmm. Who knows? She might just decide to spend the whole rest of the year there. Jane, your wife's uh, younger sister, will be having a baby any moment. Really? That's good news. <laughs> exactly what mommy wants. An opportunity to spend the whole year abroad. <laughs> she needs it. <laughs> it's our only time to see the world. <laughs> Have you decided on what line of business you want to get yourself involved with now? Yes, yes. After careful deliberations and fact-finding, my wife and I have decided to go into the petroleum marketing business. Hmm. That is enormous, but it's good business. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> we have also made some good contacts for our locations. For a start, we will need two oil tankers for distribution. And then rent a fuel station. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Both of you have a very good plan. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. That is what I expect of you as a couple. But we might You see this house that I have just shown you is a wedding present from my wife and I to you and your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the key. To you and your husband. Wow. <sighs> yeah, the key. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Daddy. Thank you very much. Wow. And uh, <laughs> here. Here is a check for 20 million naira. Oh, for you to start on that business. That <laughs> both of you. Oh, oh my God. Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> look at it, look at it. <laughs> look. <laughs> look at it, look at it. That is not all. Come. That is not all. Come, come with me. Come with me. Wow. <laughs>
you see, um, I look forward to when both of us will um, sleep together every night, mm -hmm. wake up together yes. every morning, then um, live together forever. <laughs> oh, sweet words to say, Mary, just to fool me. Uh, no, 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 no. It, it, to fool you is to fool my children unborn. Look, Amaka, you are not just a girlfriend to me. You are a girl of my dream. A girl I will finally say, yes, I do it. <laughs> You know, Philip, I've always wanted you to see my parents. Come on. I will. But you see, I can't see them like this. You see, I don't have anything to show for it. Come on. It's just a brief introduction. It's not going to cost you a thing. Listen, just hold on. Okay. I have my plans. I have something on the pipeline. Okay. I'm only in my child. I'm going to move out of this small place into a bigger place mm -hmm. buy a car yes. then we get married and i change your son name to mine oh, <laughs> sweetheart i don't care about all these things you're talking about i love you just the way you are sweetheart, i don't even care if you are a millionaire or not i know you see you are a girl of my dream okay all have always wanted is to make sure you and our unborn children does not suffer. Yeah, Tuesday, come in. Ah, <laughs> professors. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Huh? Good evening. What a surprise is it? Yes. Huh? Bro, eh? no, 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 you look too clean. No, no, you know my words, eh? <laughs> you know my words, eh? <laughs> this one visited me. What, what happened? Well, I went to the office, you were not there, so I decided to come to the house. Bros, bad market. See, the customs have not released them. Our distributors close the seeds that they work. So, that's the thing, there's nothing in the market, so uh, I just relaxed at home. That's terrible. Anyway, I came to show you something good. Share some good news with you. I to show you my machine. It's parked outside. Professor, you bought the car? Yes, sir. Hey! Come and see my new office and my new house. And then my father-in-law gave me seven new tankers to aid me in the petroleum marketing business. Hey! My mother has dropped. Hey! Look, my father in law about Alam Christmas in September. <laughs> How many? <laughs> huh? How many? I'm not dreaming. You're not dreaming. It's from my father in law. Eh? Are you surprised? Hey, bro, so I can't believe this. You have never believed it all. You see, all those people who were laughing at me, mocking, and criticizing me for marrying evening. Let them come and see now. Let them see you. Let them see. Let them see you. Let them see what my father-in-law has done. What my father-in-law will you do? Hey. I'm so happy for you. I am so happy for you. God, thank you. Thank you. At last, our family has come out of poverty level. Yes, so. Hey. Yes, so. You remember what we went through? Poverty written on our house. And... Nobody to help us. That is why I insisted in marrying from a rich family. And Philip, that extends to you. Well, brother, uh, rich family or not, uh, well, we will manage. I have uh, seen uh, a girl that I will marry. Who's the girl? Amakana, the girl that just uh, went inside now. That girl? Who is she and which family? Ah, brother. <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> well, uh, her father is a retired uh, primary school teacher. <laughs> With how much a salary? Look, Philip, you must be joking. Get rid of that girl at once. Ah, brother, no, ah, brother. We have come along. We have known each other for over three years. We love and understand each other. 
what understanding? With her family's problem on whose head? With me, without me, or with every other person, the family has been managing. They will continue to manage. I mean, they are not beggars now. Now listen, as far as I'm concerned, you must get rid of that girl immediately. I will get you a good girl from a good family with good money. And that's it. Do you have an anointing for poverty? What are you talking about? Come, let's go and see the car. Well, <laughs> let them see you, let them see <laughs> Hey, bros. <laughs> see from the computer here is 17 million naira. Yes, I have confirmed from my account's officers. Uh, yes, um, when do we expect the shipment? Okay, that will be good. That'll be good. In the meantime, we will send three fuel tankers to your filling station. Is that okay? At least that will hold you for some one week or two. All right. It is so much nice doing business with you. Or the other way around. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. How? <laughs> How? <Good to see. laughs> Hi! I'm Alex! <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it like that! This is your office. This is where I'm patching my wall. Patch it. Patch it! Let's not see, I'm calling the party. Look at your office. Look at the type of cloth you're putting on. Hell, your life has really changed. Well, your world has really changed, though. God has been very kind to me. I am now into petroleum marketing business. Offshore, downshore, upstream, downstream. Who do? Everything! Hell! Plus those, my man. Yes. From an ordinary young seller to a glorious business I could. How? Your wife and her family has really done it. Which one? Which family? I made myself. Do you know what I have been through all the time you've not seen me? All this. To God be the glory. That's what you should have said. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Straight to the point. There's money. I'm going to take you around town. We'll paint the town all colors. Hey! Pastor! I'm ready for cash! I'm ready for cash! Work hard and make money. Yes. Talk money and look good. And then save some for tomorrow. For tomorrow? My money first to That's why I like it. Say, 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 say. Rock, rock, come on. Rock me, rock me, rock me, baby. Rock me out here on the floor. Come on. Rock me, rock me, rock me, baby. Rock me till I want no more. Hello, uh, Michael. Good evening. This is Evelyn. I, I'm sorry to bother you. I know it's pretty late, but um, I was wondering if you have seen Festus this evening. 
You spoke to him. Did he mention he was traveling out of town? He hasn't come back since morning and he hasn't even given me a call. Okay, okay. The smell of perfume fills the air. The mood is right. Come home in tight. Ooh, let's dance, romance, while we still have the chance. Come on, come on. Rock me, rock me, rock me, baby. Rock me out here on the floor. Rock me, rock me, rock me, baby. Rock me till I want no more Hello? If I need good evening, this is evening. I I'm fine, I'm fine, there's no problem. If I have you seen Festos this evening? You he hasn't come home. Fine, do you know what time it is? Okay, okay, thank you. All right, good night. Hello, uh, Ofo, Ofo, this is Evelyn. I I'm sorry to bother you. Ofo, my husband has not come. Oh, thank you very much. Festus, for Christ's sake, where have you been? Why are you shouting at me? Have you gone insane? Have I gone insane? You leave home very early hours in the morning and come home at this unholy hour and you're asking... Festus, I'm talking to you. No. Evelyn. I can go out. Come back and tell my luck. Don't question me. Festus, I am your wife. I make dinner very early, wait up all evening for you to come home so we can eat. And then you come. Festus, have you been drinking? Yes. You have been drinking? Uh. Look, I had a very busy day at the office. Here was my food. My food. So, Philip, what has been happening to you all this while? Brother, I've been running up and down to see if I could uh, get something doing for myself. I really need your help. I, I, at this moment, my head can pass through water at this moment. So, I need your help. That's why I've come. What happened? You know the goose I told you I paid for at the wharf? The customs have seized the goods, saying that uh, they can't release it, that it's a uh, contraband. That's terrible. Terrible. The worst is that uh, the little business I'm, I'm doing now has been crippled. I don't have any business anymore. And to make matter worse, my landlord has been threatening to to throw me out of his out. Honestly, I am my fiance are going through hell and will really need your help. What fiance are you talking about? You know her now, Maka. 
I even promised to go and see her parents this year. Philip, why are you this stubborn and visionless? Of all I've been preaching, you are still deaf. Brother, I, I don't understand you. What don't you understand? You come to me begging for money. I give it to you now, you go give your go digging Amaka to have a field day. Brother, Amaka is not a gold digger. Then go to her and get the money. Why come to me? I have been preaching to you, get a girl from the rich home and all this nonsense will stop. Brother, I why are you reacting this way? I I came to you for you to help me. I, I, I came complaining my predicaments to you for you to help me as my other brother. I'll give you the money on one condition. End whatever relationship you have with that girl. Brother, I and Amaka, we have come a long way. So do you and I. What's wrong with you? Have you forgotten what we went through growing up? Poverty? Couldn't complete school because there was no money. You want us to go back to that poverty line or level? When there are rich girls there begging to be married. Brother, what are you saying in essence? Are you going to help me or not? I don't have money. Go to that gold digging at Makai. Don't get whatever you want. Brother Festus, please. I'm begging you, please. Brother, please. I need your help now, please. If I have done anything wrong, please forgive me. At this point in time, I don't know what to do. I need some money to start up my business. And you are my only hope of raising the money. Please, I truly need your help. Now, on one condition, drop that girl. I give you a car, give you a house, give you money to start business. With Amaka, no deal. Pretty as you walks around here, and I've not met you. So you know all the pretty girls that no, walk around no, no, here. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Well, actually, I don't work here. Things seem fair. That explains it. My name is Festus. A friend of mine runs an office upstairs here. Have a lunch. That would be possible. I don't know you. Well, we'll have lunch together. You get to know me. I get to know. I don't think you can afford that. Alright. Let's go have lunch. And then I'll know how expensive you are. Hmm. Well, that will have to be some of the time. Seeing that we have some of the books. Leave that to me. I manage my schedule. Alright? Okay. After you. That's why I came. I believe we're one family now. And there is nothing to hide anymore. Honestly, you can't believe it. I am going through hell. I'm going through a difficult time that I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know whom to go to. 
I need your husband's help. It's hard to believe that you're going through such a bad time and your own brother turned his back on you. I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know what he's thinking. But please, Evelyn, please, help me to talk to him. Just beg him on my behalf to please assist me. I I can't go and steal. I can't steal. Philip, Festus has changed. He is no longer the man that I married. He has become so unreasonable. He has become so hard-hearted overnight. Do you believe that Festus now keeps late nights? comes home sometimes and other times he doesn't come home at all. The worst is he is so reckless with money. Philip, I, I don't know what to do. I'm so confused, honestly. Are you sure of what you're saying? I said I saw them. It said your husband has a twin brother that drives his car. My husband driving around town with a girl I do not know? Hmm. Is that possible? <laughs> Eve, my dear, you have to keep your eyes open. Most men are snakes. Snakes! And I know how much you cherish your marriage. And as a good friend, I cannot say such a thing and keep quiet. Well, I, I appreciate your concern, blessing. I'm, I'm very grateful. Just thank you for letting me know. So you have to be very careful. Thank you. Oh, brother. Life is not a bed of roses. Try to sustain. Just even treasure. See you do the 
Come home at 2 p.m. Well, you definitely have some explanations to do to me. Because I've been waiting for you all night. Now, I want my food on the table. Who was the girl you were driving around town with? I said, go and put my food on I the table. I said, who was the girl you were driving around town with? You think you can lie your way out of this? I am a husband, and you don't question me. Do as I say. Now, I want my food on the table now. You're such a shameless excuse for a man. What did you call me? And I will make you pay for this. You, you call me a shameless. How dare you! If you mislead your brother, the good old days may have gone forever. This world is not a bed of roses. Our western work is gone forever. Do not lead someone against his wishes. You cannot eat your cake. What is this ridiculous story I'm hearing from your wife? How could you lay your hands on your wife? Knowing fully well that I, her father, your father-in-law is alive and around. Did Evelyn tell you I beat her up? How could I? I never did such a thing. She ran here to narrate to me how you butted her simply because she confronted you with an issue that was of becoming of a husband. I never did such a thing. I mean, I love my wife dearly. So the best way to show your love is by, by coming home late at night, wrecking of alcohol, and totally not coming home at all, and, and not eating her food. No, Daddy. Evelyn lied to you. You know, we just established a new business, and I'm trying my best to give it a firm footing. The problem is that Evelyn wants me home at 3.30 as if I'm a civil servant, and she listens to, to gossips. Festus, all you have to do is try and discuss issues with her as husband and wife. I, I'll, I always try to, but she wants things done her own way. And when I refuse, she argues and confronts me. On that account of situation, I just go to my room. In that case, I skip food. And then she comes complaining that I don't eat her food. I'm only trying to run away from trouble. Well, Festus, you must understand that you are a man. You are stronger in will, so you have to be more tolerant can shadow her shortcomings and be lenient with her. I, I will talk to her as a father. I just pray that this does not continue like that. Yes, Daddy. I, I want to promise you that there is no problem in our marriage. It's just a, a passing phase. We'll get to understand each other and this things will be over. It's all right. What more time do you want me to give you? This is two years and four months. Is that not enough for you to pay for my rent? Or do you think this is a modern baby's home? Oga landlord, please be patient with me. Huh? It's just that I'm having a temporary problem with my business. Okay, if you're busy around down, pack your things and go home. They know they're hanging around. There's enough land for you to farm. Or my uncle Is that okay for you? Oga landlord. Can you say such a thing? Mr. Man, stop disturbing me. I said, pack off your things, including the rent, and leave. Oh, no, 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 
allow me to stay here for this night. By tomorrow, I will pack my things out. Tomorrow morning. By tomorrow. By tomorrow morning. Isn't it? your situation with your brother before this time? I've discussed it with him severally, but all he keeps giving me is hope and conditions. I don't understand this. I mean, you're his only brother. So why is he so hard-hearted towards your plight? I don't know. Honestly, I cannot tell. You can't believe it. Presently, my properties are outside. I don't know who else to go to. I don't know where else to go. Why don't you call him on phone? At least let him come and see things for himself. I have tried his number severally. The number wouldn't go through. And even when it gets through, he didn't pick his phone it's up. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. You know what? We have uh, a furnished flat at the BQ and it's vacant. So why don't you go get your things and move in there at least for now? Thank you. Don't do that. Ah, don't do this. We're family now. Thank you. Please. See, I think it's going to rain. So go get your things. In the meantime, I'll take the key and clean up the place a bit for you. Thank you. Go, go. Thank you very much. Abaka. I can't believe it. This is just a blessing in disguise. What are you talking about? Do you know that? There is this flat at the back of my brother's duplex. I went, complained to my brother's family. She gave me a flat and offered to clean it right now. She's cleaning the place. Really? Thank hey. God. What I'm going to do. By tomorrow, I'll send all these things here back to the village. Why send some to the village? The flat has already been furnished. All we need to do is to carry our bags oh, and walk oh, inside the flat. Oh, <laughs> Please, can I see you, um, Angela? Tell her dossier from those aluminum company. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I hope we're not staying long here because I have to be somewhere in 30 minutes. We're not. I just want to confirm a check, that's all. What do you really supply here? Aluminum sheets, of course. What else? Okay. That's good. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Ah, Angela. Mr. Dozier. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Have a seat. Okay, thank you. Uh, you want to take something? I have uh, coffee, uh, No, 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 no. You sure? Meet Festus, my very good friend. Festus, meet Angela, the manager of this company. Angela, it's my pleasure meeting you. It's nice meeting you too. Yeah, Angela, I came to confirm the check yeah. I was given earlier today for the supply I made to this company. I'd like to confirm the check given to Mr. Dozier earlier today. Alright, he will come over and take it. That's done. So what's been happening? Well, nothing much. Uh, it's good you came. You see, we are um, having a little get together at the family house. So we're inviting friends and uh, colleagues, and I'd like you to come over. Hmm. Really? 
I am sure your traditional wedding is on the way. Well, I hope it was or is, <laughs> but it's not. It's my mom's uh, 60th birthday anniversary. Hey, okay. Get the invitation to my office, I'll be there. I will surely be there. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, I think we'll be going. You my sure you don't want to stay and no, drink no, no, something? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, fine. Nice meeting you. You too. Have a nice day. Yeah, I'll see you at a party. All right, I'll be there. So that's it. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Uh -huh. You mean that Angela is still single? She's still single now. She's not yet married. And occupies that big position in that company? That's her father's company. A multi-millionaire. Look, that girl's family is rich. Single and rich. That girl will make a very good wife to my brother Philip. Philip? I thought Philip he, uh, has a fiancé. What fiancé? I don't care what he has. I have found a wife for him. Supposing they are not compatible. Who cares? As long as the money is there, they will get to understand one another. First, at times it's important. What matters in this sense is the money. Huh? What What is love and life when there is no money? At least they'll have understanding. Look, Festus, what we are talking about here is marriage. Let them get married first. All other righteousness will be... <laughs> what are you talking about? Your philosophy is okay. No, no, it's not. My, it's modern and uh, contemporary. <laughs> anyway, if you say so, that's your own business. David! David! Who opened that door? My brother Philip, he just had a property come this afternoon. Philip? And you opened the door without calling me or madam? Uh, madam Sam, in fact, now madam cleaned the place for her. Is he there? He no there, now one big lady did there. Hold on for me. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Who are you and what are you doing here? I came with Philip, sir. I'm helping him to adjust to this place. As what? His sister, his girlfriend, or his wife? I am the owner of this place and I do not allow strangers. Philip and I know each other very well. He was here a few moments ago but went out to get something. He will be back soon. While I wait for him to get back, I want to inform you that he already has somebody he intends to marry and not you. So, in your own interest, get your gold-seeking ass out of here and go to wherever you and Philip met. Am I understood? And I mean now. You cannot eat your cake and have it. Oh, my brother. This world is not a bed of roses. It's never. Our western work is gone forever.
happen now? Why don't you wait for me before leaving? Nothing. I just wanted to go home where no one would describe me as a gold digger nor a fortune seeker. What exactly are you talking about? That was what your elder brother called me. He also told me that you have a woman you will get married to. Lord have mercy. After that, he sent me out of his house as if I don't have a home. You don't mean it. God, why is Festo so, so, such a pain? So ignorant and, and, and heartless? It's your elder brother. When you get home, you ask him that. Okay, please, come on. Let us go home now. Let me find out exactly what happened. There is no way I am going back to that house. No way. Baby, listen. We need to go. I need to, I need to resolve this matter, okay? Let us go and find out why he must tell you whatever thing he told you. No. Nothing will take me back to that house. If you want to see me, you know how to find me. Baby, why are you so angry now? Huh? Is that why you're burning? Happy, happy. You have no reason to do what you did. You should have at least waited for me before going that far. Fred, sit down. Sit down. Did you ask me before you moved into my house? Did you seek for my consent? No, you did not. Why? Because you're my brother. So also, I do not have to seek for your consent before saving a situation I think is detrimental to your life. I've known Amaka for years now. She's someone that I love and cherish in my heart. Philip, look at me. Look at all this. Look at my businesses and the new life I live now. None of these came from our parents. They all came from my wife. If I had married her out of love, would I have got all these? You accused Amaka of fortune seeking, calling her a gold digger. Instead, you are the one forcing me to be the gold digger instead. We're all gold diggers. It depends on whose gold you're digging. But there are some who are digging for gold in the pockets of those who are still searching. And those are those who are against my own philosophy. Brother, honestly, I am greatly offended the way you talk to Amaka. Philip, now you listen. I don't want to see her here again. What? Or anywhere around you. I have already found a wife for you. A very good one. I already have a wife and a good one at that. Very well, family. Her family is even worthier than mine. She occupies the topmost position in her father's company. What else do you want? You can't force out me. Oh, come on. Look at you, Philip. Begging money all around. The landlord just threw you out. You have no business. Have you suddenly forgotten what we went through growing up? Poverty written all over us. Huh? Now God has sent us a messiah through Evelyn. What else do you want? Destiny differs, just like people differ. The devil destined us to be poor, but God sent us a Messiah, Evelyn. Philip, I have found someone for you. Her name is Angela. She's an angel. You need to see her. She's important and she's rich. This is the most stupid, lousy, and ridiculous thing I've ever heard. How could my own brother force me into marrying a girl because she has money? God, if you look at the issue critically, Philip, you will see that he's trying to make a point. What stupid point is that? What sort of stupid point is that? What happens to dating, love, and understanding before marriage? Huh? Look, Philip, the harsh economic realities 
and the attendance corruption have made all these things absolutely irrelevant especially as it concerns the uh, uh, issue of marriage and uh, uh, in the midst of our youth these days wait, wait, what are you driving at take for instance most girls these days want ready-made husbands those who have a fleet of cars houses built everywhere and uh, billions of dollars in bank accounts so because of this stupid reason that is why I should jump into marriage just because a girl is from a wealthy home? Why not? If not, why not, Philip? Why not? If women are doing it and marriage is, moves on, why not men? Eh? Before I will not do it. I cannot do it. I love Amaka so much and I have plans for her. I will not do it. Look, Philip, the problem with you is that you always think about other people's problems while you yourself will be drowning. Why don't you run away from poverty for life? Eh? Through whatever means that presents itself. Come on. No. No. I will not do it. I will not do it. I can't do it. I will not disappoint Amaka. I love her so much. Philip. Promises are made, promises are broken, apology standard. Life goes on. Come on, make use of your head, come on. You're a darling. Gentlemen, on behalf of my elder brother, who could not be here due to ill health, I am presenting this talking gift. This beautiful house, this car, to the wedded couple. Hey. Come on, Philip. Chiara, it's your wedding day. No, I should be the one telling you that. This is what you have always wanted me to do, isn't it? Sure. It's the best thing for you. Look at your house. Look at the car. 
And I'm sure your father in law will give you at least 50 million naira. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You're making a big mistake here. He's going to close down his bank account for me. Come on. The man is wealthy. And as his son in law, he's going to spoil you a lot. Festus, please, um, can we go back inside? I'm tired. I need to sit down and rest. Sure, why not? But then. You're a millionaire, so you must think like one. They supplied me two days ago to Abuja. Yes, I did. I need from them to Are you asking me? For goodness sake, how many times have I warned you to always consult me before taking such decisions? Warn me? Angela, what do you mean by warn me? Because it's my duty to direct you to the policy of this company. That's why. Angela, do you realize that uh, apart from being the supplier and purchasing manager of this company, I am also your husband? Please keep the husband angle aside till we get home. Now listen to me. Whatever is your position in this company, you are working under me and must always consult me before taking decisions like that again. Do you understand? Angela, if they have sent you to get me angry, just go and tell them that you didn't say anything. See, your insubordination will not be tolerated as long as this establishment is concerned. I will discuss this with my father. This one is not a bed of roses. Our western world is gone forever. Do not lead someone against his wishes. Young man, I want you to understand that we have laid down rules and policies that guide this company. I know, Chief, but I, I, I thought that... Um... No, 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 whatever you think, you have no right to execute your policies without the express authorization of Angela. And secondly, not raise your voice at her. Oh, Chief, um, I did not raise my voice at her. Um, she barged in and that was how the whole thing started. You must not forget one thing. She has been here in this company before you married her and you joined us. You are the husband, but she still remains the boss. That is why I don't come here always. I understand, Chief. I understand. I, I will always consult my boss before I do anything. That's it. That's right. That's good for the office. That's good for the company. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I leave now? You may go. Uh, where is Angela? Where are you coming from? That doesn't sound like a caring welcome for a busy wife. Busy? Busy doing what? Tell me. Busy doing what? We work in the same office. 
I know the time I came back to this house. Look at the time you're coming back. Where the hell did you go to, Angela? Answer me now or you get it hot with me. I was busy with some colleagues. And you forgot that you have a husband at home to take care of? It was imperative I see them for a brief meeting. Jesus. Besides, I'm used to working late. Can't you adjust to that? <sighs> <sighs> You mean you came home early and you didn't prepare dinner? What? Angela, are you mad? Have you gone out of your senses? I was talking to you here, you walked out on me. Now you have the guts. You have the infantry to ask me if I didn't prepare dinner for you to eat with this your mouth? Wait a minute. You expect me to come back late from work? Hop into the kitchen? Cook while you sit down, do nothing because you are. For Christ's sake, Angela, why are you so disrespectful and insensitive? You are the one that is insensitive. I'm your wife, not your maid. And tell me. What is the reason that a woman must always be the one to cook, Mr. Husband? Did I not? Bullshit. My machine. Check it out. I want everyone in this town to know that I have arrived. Festus is now a big boy. <laughs> First, you mean you bought this Jeep? Yeah. Why? We don't need it. We already have two cars. Now listen, luxury is not just what you can get. Luxury is something you afford and you indulge in luxury. But this luxury is too expensive. Brother, we don't need it. What about the business? Is that the way you're going to congratulate me on my latest addition? Congratulations, Thank but you. I maintain that we don't need this gym. We will do the business. You know what the problem is? You complain too much. Huh? Huh? Yes, how can you do this? Come on, it's good, it's good, it's good. Now, I want to go to this place and show him this addition, this machine. Are you coming? I'm not, I have something on fire. Oh, come on. You want to take a ride? Come on, it's a good ride. Hey, shake it, baby. You got it. What does he need the chip for? I thought you both have two cars. I don't know, Daddy. I was surprised myself when I saw him return with the jeep. And that type of jeep you're talking about should cost nothing less than four to five million. It's not even as if his business is progressing. Last year he operated at a loss. I asked him to give me two million for the business uh, I proposed to do and he says there was no money. Yet he bought himself a jeep. Can you imagine? Daddy. Please help me talk to Festus. His lifestyle is devastating. He's so reckless. He spends money lavishly and he doesn't even have time for his business. Please. This husband of yours seems to be very lazy. But anyway, I talk to him. Is it true that the oil tankers are grounded? They all need engine overhaul. 
and servicing, Festus dumped them at the mechanic workshop. I will talk to you. Angela! Angela! Yes, I'm coming! What is it? Angela, what is this? What does it look like? Your food? Angela, you gave me beans to eat. How many times have I told you that I don't like eating beans? Since we got married, I've warned you severally that I don't like eating beans, and you know it. Point of correction. You've never made it known to me. So how many times do I have to tell it to you before it's sticking to your skull, Angela? Don't insult me, Philip. I spent valuable time in the kitchen preparing that dish. Do you know what I think? I think you did pay some pain. Since you want me visiting the restaurant, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing from Hank's fault. Excuse me. Philip! Philip! Philip, you don't walk out of me! You don't walk out of me and my food, right? Alright, just you wait! Just you wait until my father gets to hear about this! You next with Prepare some dish when you spend hours in the kitchen and you walk out of me! Just you wait! It's me, open the gate. Ah, okay, welcome. Okay, don't carry the key. What do you mean you don't have the Come on, open the gate. Are you all right? Okay, okay, now, madam, carry him. He lock the gate. Carry the then key. Then go, go to her and collect the key from her. Tell her that I'm back. Okay, she said, make I know the stuff until tomorrow morning, no? That's so she talked. Hey, Ismaila, are you out of your mind? I said, go there and collect the key from her. Even I tell her, I say, you never return. He said, make I shut up. What kind of nonsense is this? What has come over this girl? Locking me out. <laughs> God. No, 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 no. I'm tired of this embarrassment and humiliation. What kind of rubbish is this? Angela! Angela! I'm gonna get call her more. She not give me your way to the shop. You don't tell where she sleep. Even the, th the way where she did talk that time. Ah, I got one half video. the reason why you bought that chip. Is the car too small or you you have so much money to spend? Daddy, 
it's not as if uh, I mean it's just a car there's not much to it you think so your wife asked you for two million naira to start a business of her own and you refused knowing fully well that she's been sitting at home all alone the goods that you took away from my warehouse over a year ago, you have not paid for them. Yet you went and bought a jeep. Daddy, as for the goods I took from the warehouse, I'm just waiting for a consignment, then I'll pay. But I'm not forbidden from riding a jeep like my mates. My business is not crippled. I'm doing well. What are your investments as a man? Is that jeep an investment? Tell me. How much profit do you make from that jeep in a day? You and your wife, you already have cars. So why spend money buying a jeep when your business is shaky? No, daddy. That's a very wrong impression. I am comfortably controlling the business. My business is not shaky. No, it's not. Festus, return that jeep or sell it. You are attracting unnecessary attention and criminals to you and your wife. Return it. Daddy, I quite appreciate uh, your advice but I want to tell you that if I didn't have the need for the Jeep I won't buy it I need it that's why I bought it intentionally stabbed me when I went out to look for food to eat. She locked the house and went out so that um, she can come back to her senses. Can't believe it. She locked the doors, held the keys just to spite me. Is Angela mad or something? Telling you my marriage with Angela is a fatal mistake. Every new day comes with humiliation and disaster. I'm regretting why I listened to Festus in the first place. Uh -uh. Has it got into that extent? Is that him driving in? Philip, you should see the jeep your brother bought at this hard time. If I want a train, a plane, I'll buy it. That ship is just small. Nonsense. Jesus. Jesus Christ. 
What did you say? Hey! Please, I'm finished. I'm finished. Calm down. Calm I'm down. finished. Calm. This is not the end of the world. It is, oh. I had to enter my account to buy that jeepo. What? Ah. Are you crazy? Yeah, I think I am crazy. I am crazy. Last year, my business was not doing well. People were talking, oh. They were mocking me. I had to buy that jeep to cover up. I am ashamed of you, Festus. How could you have done such a thing? Hey. This year, I beg you in the name of God. Nobody must hear about this, oh. My wife must, must not know the truth about this, so my father in law must not know the truth about this, so. Please, so. Hey. Definitely they will know one day. Hi. Hey. You have to tell them the truth. That's the end of the road for me, oh. That's the end of the road for me, oh. Hey. Hi. Um, Philip. I sent for you after hearing from my daughter about the ugly incident that took place. Philip. I am beginning to think whether you are man enough. Chief, man enough to do what? Man enough to get insulted, humiliated and disrespected by my own wife, your daughter? I do not see any insult or any humiliation for a hard-working wife taking time off to prepare a new for the husband. Do you really care? Sorry, Chief. That question is better reserved for your daughter, Angela. She knows quite well that I don't eat beans. I've told her times without number that I don't like eating beans. It gives me hard bones. She intentionally went ahead to prepare beans for me. Why? Just because of that, you abuse her. You stomped away from the house. So that confirms the fact that you go out to shuttle around with your concubines. Was that what she told you? And you believe that because she's your daughter? By the way, Philip, where were you last night? The place she locked me outside. My wife, Angela, your daughter, had the audacity, the effrontery, the gods to lock me outside and went to bed. If you had only invested some love and care for her, all the situation would have, would have been occurring instead of crawling about from, from one corner to one corner at night. This is what happened. You call the shots. Chief, I think the person that deserves being rebuked here is your daughter Angela, not me at all. Um, Philip, you are so lucky to have someone like Angela as a wife. But in qualification, career and background 
she's way up above you. Yet, you're not proud of her. All you do is to sit down and insult her. You try to convert by coercive forces the nobility, the blessed nature of that girl and from the reputation of her home and to convert her to a slave girl. This is impossible. Who do you think you really are? Anyway, but for her, you would have put in a house. You know that. You would have put in a job you are enjoying now in your widest room. You would have put in a job. All you have to do is to sit down and abuse her. You must apologize to her. And you must be very cautious on the way you approach her in future. You hear what I'm saying? Now you may go. Me your wife's car. Yes, I want you to get a buyer for it. A buyer for what? Your wife's car? Yes. Huh. Um, I'm into a lot of uh, financial crisis. I, I want to get money to fix one or two things. I don't want my wife or my friend law to know I'm down. Festus, I told you. I told you to return that Jeep, but you refused. How can you spend so much money on just one car? The money you would have used to make an investment. Now and now look at the trouble you are putting yourself into. I don't into. want you moralizing to me. Now listen, I know you know a lot of car dealers. If I sold mine, they won't fetch me the kind of money I want. That's why I brought this one. So just help me dispose it, that's all. There is no way your wife will not know. I'll, I'll, if I get the money, I'll buy another car before she knows. Smiler, come and take this. If your madam comes, give it to her. Hmm? Open the gate. I have heard from your father your side of the story and he has really told me this true situation of things. In his own words, he made me understand that you are better and above me in qualification, career and background. You have however exhibited this in all your attitude and relationship towards me ever since we got married, both at home and in the office. We are not compatible. There is no love between us and we shouldn't have even gotten married in the first place. I am gone, Angela, and never to return back to you. You can find yourself a more qualified husband or better still, marry your father. Good luck, Billy.
throw that away. I know her. Well, um, I'm not the rightful owner of this car. I bought it from a dealer. Maybe she sold it to, to him. sell your car to a car dealer. Car dealer? I came home one day, I didn't see my car. I asked my husband, he said he took it to the mechanic. And since that day, it has been from one story to another. Evelyn, I saw your car. I even touched it. And I asked the man, the man said he bought it from a car dealer. Don't I know your car again? Is it possible that Festus has sold my car? That means he must have sold his too. Hey, what about the jeep he bought? I'm hearing rumor that the jeep has been stolen. <laughs> Listen, look, why are you doing this to me? Are you sure of what you're saying? <laughs> this had better not be true. How do I explain this to my father? How? My sister. I don't know. Hey! You better yes. open your eyes. Open your eyes. If not, before you know it, this house would have been sold. Evelyn. Boy, say, Abo. 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 I've been to the mechanic workshop where you told me you took the car. They said you didn't bring any car there. Which mechanic? I thought you said Sunday's mechanic workshop. Which Sunday? All I said that while I was coming back from Potako, the car developed a fault. And I branched off to the nearest mechanic where they are servicing it. For how many days now? Hmm? For how many days? Okay. Where is your car and the jeep? They all went for special servicing at the car company. Since when? See me, I'm tired of jumping in and out of taxis. And deal. One of the cars will soon be home. How soon? At least when will my own car be home? I said be patient. Uh-uh. lies to me. What? Ever since we got married, it has been one catastrophe or the other. 
He keeps women outside. He is reckless with money and he's so lazy in business. But I cannot sit here and and watch that idiot ruin my daughter's life. <laughs> this is not my idea of marriage. <laughs> he hardly stays at home. We don't communicate. I don't even know him anymore. Does he please? <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. What, what about the oil tankers? They're all grounded. They are cared for and rotting away. How irresponsible to waste such an opportunity that I gave to him. Treated him like my own son. So, so if I have any financial problems now, he cannot even come to my aid. Now, you get up. Go to him. Tell him to wait for me in the house. I am coming to see him personally. Now, you go. Go, go and tell him. Everybody came. Sit down. What's been happening to you? We looking all, all around for you. Called your house, called your office. No one was speaking. Oh, there's no need. Um, nobody will pick the phone except Angela. I'm no longer there. What do you mean you're no longer there? I walked out of the marriage. No, you can't do that. Yes, I can, and I have. I'm tired of that stupid lady's nonsensical attitude. No, fully. There are jokes and there are jokes. I mean, I was hoping to come to you. Help me talk to your wife to give me a five million naira loan. Oh, it's a pity. I am sorry. She's no longer my wife. No, she is. And you must go back to her. I will do no such thing again. Now you listen. There are things you don't do. And there are things you do not do. No, with. it's you that don't know what the situation is all about. Festus, enough is enough. I mean, I came to see you, and if this is what you have brought up to discuss, I have to leave here. Today, I will speak to you later. Philip. Philip. Look at this boy. You don't know what you're throwing away. You are spoiling my job. See you have ransacked the whole house. Is this what you're looking for? Give me those documents. Not on your life. Give me those documents. I won't. Not even if you were near your grave. Even I am your husband, you must do as I I've had enough of that! Then give me those documents! <laughs> Where you 
beat your wife? My own daughter? Young man. This is what he wants and the documents to the house. Oh, young man. I think you have reached the end of your road. I'm sorry. She called me names. I, I didn't mean to repeat her. What names did she call you that you are not? What names? Daddy, I'm sorry. Said, you're sorry for what? I'm sorry, Daddy. You think you think you married my daughter to, to suffer her? No, no, no. Why are you why are you treating me like, like this, Daddy? Please, Daddy, I'm sorry. Daddy, please. Oh, Why are you sticking me like this? Take it out of here! Take it out! You will not move with this luggage! No sense! Please, daddy, daddy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please! Don't you ever step in this compound again! You think you can come here and ruin my, my daughter's life? Idiot! Gigolo! Stupid man! They look this woman like you want tea farm. <laughs> you see the, that woman we just passed? Uh, no, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you see what it? You're waiting. <laughs> now now why no say you they really sick? Your wife. You know what you have to do? I will buy you one better, one better malaria drug. So that you go drink because as you say. As he said, this malaria don't hold you well. well. I beg you, sit down, your, your wife. Uh uh. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you one better name. First, choose the dreamer. My own name now. Nice. Remember, I'm still here. Hey! Here is a check for 20 million naira oh, for you to start up that business that <laughs> both of you. Oh my God. Daddy, I want everyone in this town to know that I have arrived. First choice is now a big boy. <laughs> First, you mean you bought this Jeep? Yeah. Why? We don't need it. We already have two cars. Now listen, luxury is not just what you can get. Luxury is something you afford and you indulge in luxury. Is that Jeep an investment? Tell me, how much profit do you make from that Jeep in a day? You and your wife, you already have cars. So why spend money buying a Jeep? When your business is shaking. No, Daddy. That's a very wrong impression. I am comfortably controlling the business. What did you call me? You heard me. And I will make you pay for this. You, you call me a shameless... <coughs> How dare you! Daddy, please. Oh, oh, oh. Why are you sitting me like this? Take him out of here. Take his... Daddy, you will not move with this luggage. Sleep, you can't sleep here. Yeah? Eh? So 
l'interpellation, il veut dire qu'il devait passer déjà. Le président se lève le Hein? Ben, c'est l'heure de le mal. Ah, ben, on consomme le Ah, ah. On devrait pas avoir un pire. Si le cas est Hein? Il est dans le monde, 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 dans le You know, so that, that, that job better pass this under this song where we come day from morning to night. Nothing. I bet no go, no go. So that yeah. we go go there, no, 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 no go. If I no go change, no go there. Uh, you should go change. I never get anything to change into. Why? I go dash you something to wear now. I can't pass you, I have to give you a I think you I think you I think you I think you Welcome, welcome. 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 Can I help you? Oh, uh, uh, I've been applying for a job for Madame Pure Water Factory. Madame. Uh, so, he said, Make I come today. I stand for market. So, he said, Make I come today, today. Today. Let me follow. Anyway, <laughs> if you get a job, condition will be changed more. Uh, I'm yeah. done tired for this song. We're no, we don't do that at all. Ah. We work uh, Sunday, good money every day. Hi. Let's go there. Madam, well done. Madam, well done. Fastus, is that you or am I seeing somebody else? Warren. You know, madam, what are you doing here? I got married two years ago. This is my husband's house. Yeah, and I'm the same, don't get the job, nurse. You know, madam. Madam, I beg, Nami and I follow. Make you make us get this job, I beg. First, is what happened? Why the sudden change? What about your business? It's a long story. Very long story. Excuse me, I'm coming. Okay, sir. I'm coming. Come! Oh, they never intervene at all. I said I'm coming. What's going on? That won't concern you now. Ah. That thing, I can. Okay. Uh, the big guy uh, uh, bring uh, the wine. No, sir. Make sure you do not deliver that wine. Okay? Yes, uh, has he paid you? No, sir. And you have not delivered? No. You have not delivered. Make sure you don't deliver anything to him until he gives you money. Yes, sir. Do you understand? I remember what happened last year. Supervisor. Ah, chief. How is the job progressing? Well, we're moving. Uh, this is the uh, third uh, trailer. Okay. I'm sure by six today, um, the, the whole thing will be completed. Please hurry them up. Two more containers are coming in today and will be offloaded tomorrow. No problem. Eh? I don't want to incur any further expense from okay. this. Eh? Apart from the damage of yesterday, is there any further damage? Uh, no. No. No, sir? no. That's very good. Eh? Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Ruby uh, brought in the check and it's on your table right now. Complete? Yes. That's very good. Okay. 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 Ah, uh -uh. 
Mr. Supervisor, <laughs> how is work today now? Well, is he suffering and smiling? <laughs> <laughs> man no die, man no rotten. How bread is better than Pomo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about your brother, Festus? Festus, I don't know. It's been a long time I saw him. But I hear he's now in Port Harcourt. What is he doing in Port? How would I know? But at least it's a good hiding place for him after all the atrocities he has committed. But he shouldn't have run away like that, man. He should have at least come back to plead with his wife and the parents of his wife. For what are you talking about? If you were to be a member of the wife's family, would you have accepted his apologies? Or if you were to be the wife, would you want to uh, stand and listen to him? Well, after what he did, it's, it's, it's terrible, it's terrible. But anyway, what has happened has happened. Hey, food did this house. Uh, you go so Gary. Gary. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> In the absence of nothing. Like some food did there. I don't say the jam as well. <laughs> I charge you 13 naira. You are giving me 20 naira. 13 naira? From Park Rich here? Yeah? 13 naira, are you talking now? You are who talk? We charge 15 naira and I say I can collect 13 naira from you. You tell me you said 13 naira? Can I meet the shaft for? Eh? If you don't give you me don't, you tell me you said 13 naira. One person will die no, this morning. You, now you go die, you will not be me. What is it? What is it? Give me 10 naira. Give me for where? Give me 10 naira. Is okay. From Park to here, tell me 13 naira for what? How much? How much? How much is it? 10 naira. Okay. Ah! That's giving you. I, you give me 20 okay, okay, No, this is not no, how no, to no, spend no, money. Let's, let's, this is waste of money. And I, I don't want you. Let's go. Let's go. No, 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 I'm not kind of man. What could I do? At least there, no one could recognize me. But you left with some money. The money you got from the two cards. Yes. But uh, an old friend, on the pretense he was helping me get into the lucrative oil black market, duped me. Oh my God. You mean you lost everything? Everything. This is terrible. Well, that's life for you. Anyway, I came so that you can help me get back to something, you know, as a, as an old friend. Right, Ross. This are hard. These are hard. You see, I, I, I don't know how to tell it to you, but I don't have anything now. You see, no matter how things are hard, you can help me get to something. In, you have you forgotten when we used to eat and drink together? I know, I know. Oh, well, pali, pali. I know, you know, you know, you, you don't understand. We are, I'm just managing. Managing. I don't have any money. If I have, I'll give to you now, you know. Are you saying you're not going to help me? It is not that. It's if, even the contract I did last time tied down my money, so I don't have anything. You are saying you're not going to help an old pal, so I should start going. It is not that. Understand me. It is not that. You know, if I have, I'll give to you. God day, God day. Uh, 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 uh. You remember Patrick? Which Patrick? Patrick now. In school. Uh -uh. Patrick in Dubisi. In Dubisi. <laughs> he is now a very rich man. He is the MD of the company he is working with now. Since when? Since last year. <laughs> I think the best thing for us to do is to call him. When we call him, he will help you. I'm very sure of that. Now you know him now. He will help you. Anyway, whatever happens, you people should find a way of uh, resettling me or I mean, what are friends for if not for inconvenience? Don't worry. Yeah, he will help you. And MD is not a small boy now. Huh? Let me eat myself. Okay. Nonsense. Look at him. I thought it was that time he was bragging with his wife money everywhere. Going all about. Talk to him, he won't listen to you. Take it easy, he will not. Thunder fire, you idiot. 
Come and take now. He even went to buy a jeep that is worth over four to five million naira. And now he's an ordinary beggar. What? Ah, Professor. I thought I was going to catch you in the office. Uh, you almost missed me. We just finished a board meeting. I'm going out for another board meeting. Uh, thank God you just finished the board meeting. Uh, Duzi says immediately I see you, my appointment is guaranteed. Yes, but there's a problem. Problem? No, Patrick. Maybe I have no problem oh, now that I need this job. Festus, I understand your situation. The company is not improving. And the management has placed embargo on employment for a moment. Why? Why would your company place embargo on employment now that I need this job? Why? Eh? Why? God, what was all this? Festus, hmm? calm down. This is not the end of your world. It is the end of the world for me. You don't know what I've been going out through out there. You don't know. I, I understand, but... You don't understand. I am homeless at the moment. I need this job so that I can take care of my family. Festus, I truly sympathize with you. But there's nothing I could do for the moment. But I promise you. No, 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 no. There's nothing to promise. Uh, what is it? I was about going out. The job didn't work out. What? You mean the job we arranged with Patrick did not work out? Now that it's my time to get a job, that's when their company placed an embargo on employment. God. And I even thought you started the job already. Now what are you going to do? I don't know. And I can't go back to Port Harcourt. There's nothing for me in Port Harcourt. Can I stay with you till I get a job? Hmm. That would have been the best too. But you see, my wife, that is the only problem I have. What about your wife? You see, I sent him the two cousins that were staying with us. And if I allow you to stay now, he will take and part same favoritism. You know that. So where do you want me to go? Huh? It is not that I don't want you to stay. But you know the type of wife I have, I don't want to hurt her, you know that. Uh -huh. Let me take something from inside the house so that we can live together. No need, no need. Let me go and see some free friends. I'll see you later. People should tell this man to leave me alone. What type of this thing is it? Before you carry your poverty and put on my head. What type of nonsense is this? Am I the only friend you have? I don't like that too. Not tomorrow now, somebody say I'm insulting you. Even my own best man could not help me. Just to stay in his house until I get a job. Us. When I was living in a new place, he used to come and I would dash him money. God damn. Come to me. Yes, I am, my dear. I've been away at Abuja supervising the contract for weeks on end. I came back two days ago, and I said I need to rest for a while. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, you are the boss. <laughs> Hi. It's okay. I'll meet you up in the bedroom, okay? Okay. <laughs> George. George? What of Philip, your husband? 
I'm no longer married to Philip. What? <laughs> Nobody told me. What happened? Forget about Philip. You see, my marriage to him was a disaster. Can you imagine a nobody coming into my house to control me? Control you? Angel, he is your husband. You have to be submissive to him. Hello. Have you forgotten I have a doctorate degree in business administration? First degree in law? Diploma in psychology? And have you forgotten who my father is? After all that, you want me to stoop so low for that insignificant twig? Please. And the boy I just saw, is he the best? That fellow is sweet. He adores me, respects and honors me. You want me to show you an example? Hold on a minute. George! George! Are you called me, honey? Yeah? Do I have to shout before you answer oh, me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was in the toilet. All right, um, get me a glass of juice, a um, bottle of wine for my friend. I want you to put um, my dirty clothes into the washing machine. And when you're true, get some ingredients for salad at the market. Okay. Is that all? That'll be all. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. And don't forget to take money from the bedside drawer. Okay. See what I said? That idiot, that foolish thing, Philip, would never have done such a thing for me. He is a man. Your husband and not a servant. What nonsense. Let me ask you, Angel. These guys that you play around with, are they the best? See, they will only use you, play around with you, and run away. Besides, the pride of every woman is her husband. Who said so? Says I. George! Where are the drinks? Hey. I need your help right now. What is it? I stumbled into his goods at this warehouse and I made a deposit. They, however, refused to give me those goods until I made some money. George, money again. Look, <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not asking you to dash me, all right? It's a loan, I'll pay back, okay? I'll pay back. What if I say I don't have? I call that only. <clears throat> this chip is changed to you. this one is that you take care of, you take it to places whenever you want to, right? Huh? Okay, huh? Just give me a judgment. Huh? Huh? Just do it for me, alright?
look, you know I can't enter the public transport, you know, to the bank with such money. You know that? Alright, but you have to be quick about it. I, I have an appointment to take. No problem. Hmm? That, that. Judge! Judge! How many times have I warned you? Judge, you see if you try! Angel, are you alright? It's this hopeless thing. Can you just imagine? Oh, Angel, I thought it's your sugar coated pie. So what has it done? See, he took out my car for the past four hours. I need to go out, I have an important appointment to keep, and I'm starving. Well, both of you know how to relate with each other. If you are that hungry, why don't we take my car? How can judge be so rude, so inconsiderate? How can? Angel, I told you. I told you earlier, these guys have no atom of respect or regards for you. They just play around with you. Come on, let's go. Alright, meet you downstairs. Let me just um tidy up my own.
so hungry. Isn't this my car? Of course it's your car. What is it doing here in the first place? Don't tell me that George is here. Why don't we find out? voice on you in public. Will you shut up, you cheap prostitute? You don't question who I am? That's enough, Angela. You don't have to insult her like that. At least you just have to give me that respect. Respect? As you know what? You have the effrontery to talk back at me? Major importer with whom I serve as a stock supervisor. Okay. Sir, yes, please. are you an account holder with this bank? Yes, of course. I have an account. Okay, I see. Well, I've gone through your proposals and application for a loan facility. You have met all the requirements, and I assure you that um, after a few investigations by our accountants, you'll be contacted. Oh, thank you very yes. much. I really uh, need your assistance in getting this loan. I, I truly need this loan so that I can start off my business again. Uh, well, manager, I don't normally do this. I don't normally do this. But in this case, I have trust and confidence in him. I really want to help me as a young man. And I here to guarantee his job. Well, that won't be a problem, I assure you. It will only take but a little time. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I Thank truly you, appreciate your assistance. That's all right. Thank you. That's all right. Well, I wish you good luck. Thank you, man. All right. Thanks a lot. What do you mean you won't give me some of the money? What do you expect me to do? First off, whatever I like, do. Whatever you like, you do. If you expect me, to divide that money, the loan I got from the bank, divide it in half and give to you. You must be joking. Look, Philip, you have forgotten that I brought you from the village. Helped you to establish in this city. I even got you a girl from a rich home. But you walked out on the marriage. Now that you have the money, why are you treating me like this? You know what? You know what? To help with you and your hopeless favors to me. Enough of this argument. No! No! It's high time I told this fool so home truth. You're calling me a fool? Yes. Because I'm money. Yes. You made no. yourself to be one. You dragged me into a marriage. I followed you. They almost wrecked my life. Not before I listened to you. I listened to you then, but now I will not listen to you. 
to have married that stupid girl called Angela. Arrogant and, 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 and hopeless. All those things you are saying are irrelevant. Yeah. What we are saying now is that he has such a some money from the bank. Let him give me some. Offer your dead body. Offer your dead body for me to, to give you that money. Philip, if you tell me, I will kill you. Nonsense. I will kill you if you tell me. Philip. Philip. First of all, this is not the best approach to this. What is the best approach? This My friend has money. He won't help me. Say what are you talking about? You cannot eat your cake and have it. Sit down. Sit down for God's sake. What kind of nonsense is this? If you had utilized all your all the opportunities you have to your wife, you wouldn't have been going, going about begging for money like this. What are you talking about? And what are you trying to prove now? Please sit down. Sit down. You, you, you are lighting all the labels as if I'm the only person who receives visitors in this house. Sit down now. Hey, joke now. These are all. I must confess, you are quite a hard worker and very intelligent too. Your superiors must be very proud of you. Well, um, I do my best and I give it my all. Such a remarkable lady you are. Uh, why don't you join me for dinner tomorrow evening? And what makes you think I'll be interested? Because you are the most remarkable career lady my heart has been impressed with. Since this game began. And I want to show you your work. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm surprised you're asking me out. You've been coming to this office for some time now, and you've never bothered to ask, except for chit chats. <laughs> Let's just say I was studying and getting to know you first. And besides, I'm not a woman, I said. Lie to me some other time. You were studying me. So, what have you learned so far? Dinner at eight, and I will tell you. And I'm coming to pick you up myself. <laughs> to make sure I don't run away? Oh, no. Far from that. I want to show you how caring I am. Mr. Desma. Okay. Young lady, I'm still waiting. I mean, how long do I have to wait here? Dame D is not on his seat now. The admin is busy with the personal manager. But all I wanted to do is to let them know, I mean, either of them that I'm waiting here at least, so that they will know. I wish I could, but I can't. I can't walk in there. They are holding their meeting. With the company policy. Oh my God. I'm about uh, becoming one of the companies distributors. I've been neglected here. Um, sir, you can see the personal assistant to the marketing manager. My dear, I don't mind. Anybody to see that will help me out of this, I don't mind. Please. Alright. The office there. Okay, the office. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Angel, uh -huh. this is all wrong. I know this man. He is married. And twice better than all these bachelors. And more experienced in caring for a woman. Why would you even think of having an affair with him in the first place? Would you have preferred I go after George? See, all I'm saying is, you need none of these people. See, 
I don't like staying alone. I can't stay alone. Genius, look at me. I mean, I need a man to touch me. When was the last time a man genuinely showed me love, care and attention? See, Angel, you have a husband. Why don't you look for him? Me? Look for who? You want me to condescend? No. To look for that twig? Not in your life. Why are you so stubborn? That should be him. Hmm? That should be my guy. You know what? Don't wait up for me. Because I'm going to have the time of my life. Hmm? I'll see you. And now uh, make sure you lock up. So ravishing and dangerous. Oh, thank you. You're not looking bad yourself. Thank you. Thank you too. Shall we then? Yes, my friend. Hi. I see you. Make sure you like her. They just came in right now. Uh, this time around, he moved in with another lady. Are you sure they are there now? Yes, auntie. They're about to check in into a room. Good. Find out the room number and text it to me. I'll be there immediately. Okay, auntie. Yes. Lucy Desmond must know how many of us that are marrying my husband. Desmond. My beautiful angel. Mm -hmm. I must confess, you're the most beautiful lady here. Desmond, you're trying to flatter me. That must be the food and drink I've ordered. Okay. Let me get them. Drop them on the table. Drop what, Desmond? Lucy, what the hell are you doing here? Look, wait, let me, let me explain. Explain what? Let me explain. Explain what? Lucy, wait, wait. So this is where you're having your conference? Let me explain, Lucy. Who is this lady? Uh, she's my, uh, my... Can't you talk again? Lucy. Excuse me, madam, why are you invading our privacy? Eh? Hey. I have a message for you. Lucy. Excuse me? Desmond, what is she talking about? Explain what? Mr. Desmond, what is, what is the meaning of all this? This is your message. Please. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! I'm 
I tried, but she walked me out of her office. You mean she rejected the flower? Can I see her? At least let me see her myself. No, 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 that won't be possible. She said I shouldn't let you in the office, and if I do, it will cost me my job. Listen, you don't understand. She's my fiance. If I don't get to see her now, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Please, le just let me in, please. I wish I could help. I'm really sorry. But, but the fact remains that she doesn't want to see you. Oh, brother. Life is not a bed of roses. Try to sustain. A ghost even treasure. If you do the wrong thing. problem with you. I've told you to leave me alone. Leave me alone. There's nothing between us anymore. Leave my life alone. Leave my life alone. Try to sustain a ghost-given treasure. If you do the wrong thing, a fool may be better. I done to myself. Please keep the husband angle aside till we get home. Now listen to me. Whatever is your position in this company, you are working under me and must always consult me before taking decisions like that again. Do you understand? Why did I allow myself to be drowned in the euphoria of my father's words? Power and love. Have you forgotten I have a doctorate degree in business administration? First degree in law, diploma in psychology, and have you forgotten who my father is? After all that, you want me to stoop so low for that insignificant twig? If I was reasonable, I should have known where to draw the line. But nobody taught me. Oh God, I'm drawn. I'm doomed.
Festus. Sir. Festus. Sir. For three days now, you have not accounted for this bus. What happened? Sir, it's a very long story. Three days ago, as I was coming back, the car broke down. I went to the nearest mechanic. I fixed the car. Then, to go and pick passenger again, it broke down. And I sorted that one out. But yesterday, I struggled with police. So I struggled with them. They left the car. They seized it. They, but today, road safety. They seized the vehicle. First I, I got it. Have you come to tell me your usual stories again? Now listen, I am tired of your stories. My king. I said, my king, you are fired! Stupid man. Get me the fuck. This is not my dad now. Eh? In fact, the road safety, I, I told him I was bringing money to them. Please give me some money to do the road safety. Please, sir. You Please. are a stupid man. Will you get out of my sight? You are you going to go Look at you. Stupid. Please, sir. Oh, brother. Love is not a bed of roses. Try to sustain. A God's given treasure. This is not the best approach at all. You cannot eat your cake and have it. Eh? If you had utilized all the chances you had through your wife, managing all the money you had, you wouldn't have been going about begging for money this way. When you fall into the wrong side, there may be no second chance. If you mislead your brother, the good old days may have gone forever. This world is not a bed of roses. Our sad work is gone forever. Do not lead someone against his wishes. You cannot eat your cake and have it. Please. Why are you still here? Can't you see you're becoming a nuisance around here? Look, I am already a nuisance the very first day I walked out on you. That day I became a nuisance to you, to myself, and to everything God created around me that day I left you. Go back to your wife, Philip, that it's nothing between you and I anymore. Oh my God. Honestly, there is no wife. I don't have any wife. What about the rich millionaire wife your elder brother created for you? Why you come around to disturb me every day? Maka, I walked out of the marriage. I don't want her money. I don't want her. I don't want anything that concerns her. Please. Maka, I was real. I never knew how lost and empty I was until that very first day I stepped into this office and saw you again. Never meant to be. It wasn't meant to be at all. I was deceived. I was ruined. I was I was humiliated. I was I was deceived into getting married to that lady. And now that I've realized myself, I've walked out of the marriage. Let us continue the way 
we used to know. Please, Maka, come back to me. Don't turn your back on me. <laughs> Amaka? Philip, this is the best food I've eaten since I left Evelyn. <laughs> Amaka, you're a wonderful cook. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the only person that cooks more than you. Or cooks better than you is my mother. Ah. Um, yes, so yeah, our mother knows how to cook. Yes, so. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. um, Brother Festus, uh -huh. I've been thinking of something. Thinking about what? I think it's necessary for you to go to Evelyn, your wife, and ask her for forgiveness. No. I mean, what do you take Evelyn for? Almighty God? She can't even let me into her presence. What more to talk about? Forgiving me after all I've done to her? No, I don't have the courage to face her. No, brother. I still think it's necessary for you to go to her. Talk to her. She's your wife. She truly loves you, I am sure of that. You, you can't continue like this. And you must have been thinking that you have done so many terrible things to her that you think that she cannot accept you back. But at least try and talk to her. Let her forgive you first. You know, there is no harm in trying. Try, I am sure Evelyn loves you so much. Just go talk to her that it was a mistake. You know, that you're ready to change and all that. You know, so that you can pick up the, your pieces where you left it. Please. Okay, I will. So, uh, what about uh, the business you said uh, Tofo is introducing it? Mm. Tofo. <laughs> Tofo is a dead man. You know, Tofo is calling. <laughs> He's like this. <laughs> Sorry for what? Please, in the name of God, I am sorry. I know I have put you and Evelyn through a lot. But please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Daddy, I'm sorry. Now that you have gone out and seen how difficult it is to make money as a man, you are coming to say you are sorry. Do you know how much you squandered out there? Daddy, if you start calculating what I squandered, you may never forgive me. Please. 
find a place in your kind heart to forgive me. I know I have put you and even through a lot. Please, Dad. Please. My answer is no. Please, Jim. This is a man and a woman affair. I am a businessman and I know how hard making money is. What Festus lavish may not be recovered in a day or two or even in a lifetime. The most important thing is that he has now realized the importance of his wife. Now that he wants to come back to the wife, he is coming back as a changed husband. Look, 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 look. I am taking the interest of my daughter at heart. Festus must prove to me that he's in a position of taking care of my daughter before I will allow my daughter to go. Chief, life is a phase. The phase that Festus is in right now is a period where he cannot achieve what he wants to achieve alone without the express support and passionate love of the wife. I have made up my mind. Festus insulted me, called me a fool when I called him to advise him as an in-law. He's a liar. He battered my daughter in my own presence. Lazy. He must show that he can do something to take care of my daughter before I allow him to take my daughter back as wife. Daddy. I truly agree with you that Festus has betrayed the love and trust that we had for him. But if he says that deep down in his heart he's a changed man, I think it's left for God to judge him. Heaven, is, is, is something wrong with you? After what he did to you, have you forgotten? Daddy, what God has joined together, let no man put us under. Oh, so... I am the man that is that is putting everything asunder. No, no, Dad, please don't misunderstand me. It's, <laughs> it's just that, Daddy, I, deep down in my heart, I've forgiven him. I still love him. Second chance. 